Hi guys, going to take a quick look at the new Smock Guardian 3 pipe. E pipe. It's very nice. And at the end of the video, I'm going to do a little short clip of what I would consider as an ex pipe smoker to try and get a more satisfying vape from the product. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the Smock Guardian 3 pipe. Uh, usual box from Smock, quite sturdy. You take the lid off and you'll uh, reveal what's inside. First of all, you'll notice the device itself. Quite a big thing, but um, very nicely put together. And you'll see the tank. This is the micro tank. Okay. Underneath, you'll see quite a comprehensive guide of instructions always from Smock you always get a good set of instructions very very clear um, instructions on that you get the verification card warranty card and you get a little bit of info on battery safety further down you'll see a charging cable it's a bit like an ego but this is a one amp output so don't connect this to your ego batteries for god's sake so this is a one amp output so this will need also a one amp minimum input so just make sure that your wall plug has a sufficient one amp output at least you'll also get a data cable this is not a charging cable this is purely for updating the device and inside there you'll always also see a glass now this glass it says it's a replacement glass, but it isn't actually a replacement glass. You'll see that it's a lot bigger than the glass that you get with the micro. Turns it into a slightly bigger tank with the aid of an adapter. So the original tank, we think it's 2.5 mil, and we think it also with this extension will go to 3.5 mil. But we'll go through that a little later on. Built into the tank, you do get your um, 0.3 fused Clapton or should I say fused Clapton coil as a dual coil and also you get in the kit a stainless steel dual coil uh, for the temperature sensing this device also does temperature mode as well and you get a bit band and that's what's inside the box now if you move the box out the road, we can take a look at the device up close. So there's your power button, that will be your display, that will be where you put your charger or your tank. And underneath is a magnetic place for your battery, which just lifts off, like so. And you'll see inside there, you'll see that is the update. Update only, not charge. You do not charge it from this, it will flash the chip. So that is for updating from your smock site only. Uh, looking at this, it's well put together. So we will pop in one of my greenbacks, Samsung 25 hours. High drain batteries only guys, don't be sticking in anything less. VCT4, VCT3 even, VCT5, 25 hours, anything like that. And we'll switch it on. One, two, three, four, five clicks, switches it on, and you'll see very, very gently, you'll see the smock sign come up, and then it will reveal the display. Three clicks puts it into the menu. One, two, three. And then you've got up wattage, down wattage. You've got your settings for wattage temperature control, as you can see there. Your max strength, or medium strength, or normal strength, or single or dual coils it, it it's quite a good a good way of doing uh, the single button men menu on them they're very very good one two three pop it back in let's pop it to where it was which was wattage mode for me and i shall put it into a hard strength okay so let's just take a look further across the menu bluetooth on or off Puff counter, don't know why, and that just reveals what actually is shown in the display. You can put it to a simplified 
one or you can put it to the standard one. So it clicks back into the menu and that's your settings and that's your off switch. Now your settings, um, your settings you, you can adjust things like the clock or because uh, there is a clock built into this. Um, you can also adjust your uh, Bluetooth on time. The beauty about this, once you switch the Bluetooth on, you can set the time to which you want it to switch off. I've got mine set at 10 minutes, so after 10 minutes, it'll switch itself off and that will conserve battery. And also you can see that it turns into a 24 hour clock when it's left alone for more than 30 seconds. That will auto switch off after three minutes. Um, and it is a 24 hour clock. We tried to make it to a 12 hour clock um, for one of the staff uh, the other day, uh, it, we, we couldn't do it, so obviously it must be just set at a 24 hour. The tank is like the TFV4S, but this is a TFV4 Plus, um, so they do have different coils in them. Um, they fill up exactly the same as its bigger brother, exactly the same. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the extension to make this a slightly bigger tank. It doesn't change the performance at all, just the quantity of juice that's in there. So we take the old glass off, we we'll put the new glass on, and in this little bag you'll find the extension. That then screws on to the top. Make sure that's quite tight, we don't want to be losing that. And then it screws together. Just like that. Okay. So once we've properly primed the coil, which this is, it's been uh, it's been used, um, we can then carry on and fill in it. Now make sure you do prime it properly. Don't skip the step of priming it. It won't perform the same. Juice of the day. My old favourite. Large bottle of candy by 12 Monkeys. And we just fill it up. filled this just to make it short a little bit of a tissue wipe and then we'll pop it on the device and there we have it my own personal preference is to leave the airflow adjustment at the top closed that's my own personal preference is it a new coil yes keep it pressed and I'm currently at 50.5 watts. Hard setting, 0.3, and this is a fused Clapton dual coil. Give it a bit. Mmm. Absolutely fantastic. So don't forget you can charge this unit that way. That will just screw in and red light for charging, green light for charged. So it can be charged with the battery in the device. So don't forget that the coils for the kit are different to its bigger brother. Um, the Bluetooth side of it works fantastically. You'll see on the box, on the external box uh, and in the instructions, a QR code um, for the Bluetooth. Um, I find it actually quite handy because it's a lot easier to run the Bluetooth um, to, to, to adjust the things. At, I, find, I find the menu system okay with the smock stuff but the Bluetooth stuff I quite like, and it's there for the App Store and it's there for the Android as well. So as long as you've got a QR, a QR code scanner, it's no problem. Um, just follow the instructions and you'll be adjusting it through your phone. Very nice unit. This setup, personally, however, is great for your clouds. 
as an ex-pipe smoker, clouding is, is not as a pipe it should have been smoked. Um, when you smoked a pipe, um, it was all to do with sort of chugging on it and getting all the flavour, rolling it around your mouth and getting the flavour that way. Um, so this device is 75 watts. Um, it, you can cloud with it, but you can also not cloud with it. You can just use standard tanks at a lower wattage. So a high wattage, sort of 50 watts, is a single battery device. So don't expect miracles, don't expect like oh, all day, it's not gonna happen. Um, but, dropping the wattage, and I'm gonna drop this right down now to 12 watts. Or thereabouts. So once I've got my wattage set, just let it two and a half seconds and it'll, it'll feed in. My own personal preference um, is an Atlantis and I've got the five mil extension on there, but this has got the 1.8 Triton coil in it, which is a tighter draw, which therefore you are able to chug quite nicely on it. And of course, you can't go any better than putting an actual pipe stem on. Now that's a bit of a beast. <laughs> um, it's set from mouth to lung on the airflow, both sides. And the flavour is amazing. The battery life is all day. You can, of course, go for the Nautilus Big as well. That will sit on there quite nicely so that's an option that you can put on if you prefer to use it as a pipe was intended to be used and not for clouding you can also put a k-phone on claire at barrow's got um her old k-phone out there out of the uh, cupboard and uh, popped it on and it's fantastic 22 watts she gets all day out of it and have a little chug Oh, hang on, is it a new coil? Yes. Hmm. This particular tank I've got, Your Yogi um, by Perina. Six milligram, because it's mouth to long. And beautiful, beautiful. So these stems are available in the shop and, and online. Also that particular setup is as well. Um, just note that these are a standard um, 510 or 9.2 mil drip tip. Um, so Atlantis 2s, they won't fit without the adapter. Um, Triton 2s and Tritons, they won't fit without an adapter. But this, the, standard, um, the standard Atlantis V1, uh, they'll fit on no problem. Nautilus is. Mm. And I can have a good chug on that all day long. Um, the advantage over these uh, particular devices, over the Guardian uh, 2, uh, Guardian 1, any other pipe really that's out there, um, use a 18350 battery, which, especially in the Guardian 2, was a bit of a downfall at a 15 watt um, device. Just didn't have any battery life with it at all I was going to get 40 45 minutes maximum out of an 18350 but now they've, they've done this with an 18650 and it just is amazing um, I've got the full pipe collection of any pipe that we've sold in the shops this just it yeah for battery life chugging normally at normal sort of between 12 and 17 watts all day long it's fantastic So there we have it, that's the Smock Guardian 3 pipe in the kit with the tank. Goes up to 75 watts, temperature control from 200 to 600 uh, F. Um, temperature control works a treat. All the Smock, um, after the M80, they, they, they kind of got that together um, and yeah, it works a treat. Um, remembering though, when you're putting your 
um, stainless steel coil in for temperature, make sure the tank and the coil are room temperature. If they're warm, mm -mm. Um, there is an homage uh, adjuster within the setting, so you can adjust your homage to what the coil is to make sure you're getting the correct temperature. Uh, Bluetooth, simple sort of tank, you can extend it, easy charging, updates available when available um, through the Smok site. This device will take any sub ohm tank you stick on there, whether it's an RTA or whether it's a pre built a Cleto, um, an Arctic, anything like that will go on to this unit. Um, RTAs, like you said, K funds, um, even some of the, you know, something like a Griffin, perfect. I, I, I used mine for about three or four hours yesterday with my Griffin on, and it was fine. It was absolutely chucking it out. There's no problems at all. But if you want to use it, as pipes were intended to be used, a little adjustment. We shall put the wattage down. Now the 1.8 coil Triton coil runs up to about, it says 12 watts. Um, and I've got mine at 13 now. A little bit more. But screw it on <laughs> with the stem. And uh, as pipes were intended, Oh, hang on, new coil. Yes, right. Mm. That Yor Yorkie is just amazing. Really nice. And I can chug at this at that wattage all day. So this does everything that you want it to do. It does absolutely everything that's asked of it. Do bear in mind, single battery. So if you're used to the RX 200s with three batteries lasting you all day, this isn't gonna cut the mustard at 50 watts. Um, you know, you'll get a few hours, but it's you're gonna be carrying batteries around. Single battery. Mm. But at that wattage, you know, 13, it's gonna be all day long. Mm. It's a big bugger and all. So check it out. Take care guys.